One of the deception or the strongest weapon of the adversary is deception, the weapon of deception. And the enemy have succeeded by um, the fact that people think spirituality or maturity is gifting. Ah. But um, you, you, can have, uh, you can have gifts on a Christmas tree in one day, but you can have a fruit that people on a think, tree. People think that spirituality is determined by your gifting or your anointing. It's not, because a gift is a gift. You don't work for a gift. You, 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 you don't earn a gift. A gift is a gift. Bishop, and, and those of you who are watching, the reason why I keep on stopping it, because we're tapping into something that is demonic in its origin, but it's packaged as a gift. Mm -hmm. And I think that you, just, you, you hit it real, real hard, that the people would actually believe that their spirituality is... Uh, it's a result of their gift and anointing. But anointing and give don't make you spiritual. It's your depths and it's what you have survived. And it's how you react in trials, in temptation, when the enemy comes at you. It's how you react and how you handle trial and how you manage and what you do when you're under fire. Hallelujah. And Hallelujah. you can be so gifted and so anointed and, and messed up Hallelujah. and can't handle temptation. And, and, and flip and break down uh, when you're on the fire. But spirituality or maturity has to do with mastering, mastering the ability to master your fears, the ability to master temptation, the ability to master trials, the ability to be blessed, to be successful, and yet it doesn't move you, it doesn't impress you, where your anointing and your gifting and your success does not determine how you handle people, how you treat people, how you react. God does not react. God acts. Reacting is when you act without thinking or reasoning. But acting is when you take your time, you weigh the situation, you reason, you do due diligence, then you act. Mature people don't react, they act. <clears throat> and the enemy it has succeeded to deceive the body by making people think that spirituality or maturity is determined by success, gifting, anointing, and money, but it doesn't. I think that I, I have goose pimples going up my body, mm -hmm. and that's real, real serious at this particular moment. I think that in this very, very moment, mm -hmm before we get to our next segment, I think we need to really, really pray mm. because something is happening right now. I believe that, it. That, that right there is, is huge. Mm. How that people just cannot handle, uh, uh, they don't have the character, That's the it. spiritual discipline. The Bible says that you shall know them not by their gift, not by their anointing, not by their money or success, but you shall know them by their fruit. And fruit is character. Fruit is maturity, and it takes time to bear fruit. It doesn't take too much time to be gifted and to be anointed. I have so many people that I've trained and I raised. They are my sons and daughters in the Lord, and some of them are more gifted than I. They are very gifted, but they come to me when they are in crisis, and, and, and they come to me when they are confused and say, Papa, what do I do? And I laugh, and, and the reason why I laugh is because they, they see the limitation, that gift is limited, anointing is limited, but maturity comes through the process of time. And if you don't go through the process, your gift and your anointing can help you in the day of temptation, in the day of trial, in the evil day is, is you see, the value of gold is determined by the process it's been through. Gold is not gold until it's been through fire. Ah. So I don't care how anointed you are and gifted you are, how much money you are. If your importance in life is a result of how much money you have, then you are to be pitied because money has expiry date. So, yeah. so if you feel very important because of your anointing and your gifting, it's a gift. The gift and callings of God may be without repentance, but has limitation. But maturity, which is a product of process, when you've been processed, you've been through fire, you've been through something, is what determines true spirituality and maturity.